It's Monday, November 7th, 2022. I'm Ambria. And I'm Lexi. And the, the Wolf begins, begins now. Why no, baby? trials are coming up next week. Here's some more information. Thursday is the last chance picture makeup day for both seniors and underclassmen. Seniors, you must sign up for the for a time at tinyurl.com slash WK Senior Portraits 23. And the underclassmen will follow the schedule on the screen. These will take place on the cafeteria stage. Look for all the details in an email for Ms. Cox. The SGA is sponsoring a school-wide food drive to help a local charity mission Lexington. Students can donate non-perishable canned food items. The food drive will take place from November 1st through the 18th, 2022. All donated food items will be collected in students' pack time. The pack time that collects the most food items will win a pizza and donut party. Last year, Wendell High School students raised over 3,000 food items for Mission Lexington. So let's get even more this year. Sure. Our occupational credential program does a lot of incredible things here at White Knoll. Let's learn about some of them. Hey, I'm back. I'm Lexington One Meteorologist Evan Deese, and today we're going to be taking a look at the OCP class, what they do, and what they're all about. Here's Miss Fisher. This is the Occupational Credential Program, and this is the career lab that we're standing in. Uh, in here we learn job skills, and so we have kids working on a variety of things from in the kitchen to woodworking. Uh, we have things that they can do where they, we have hair washing stations, we um, make cake pops, we do a lot of different things to get kids prepared to go to work. So each kid um, in here, so. I told you about some of the jobs that we do. Uh, we also have a vinyl station, a design team. So each um, student in my class specializes in a certain area. So we have kids in the kitchen who are um, serve safe certified and they are, their, their primary focus is working on the food because they have an interest in going into the restaurant business. Um, they wanna be a chef. Um, something along those lines. Um, so we try to specialize the areas. My guys who are interested in construction right now, um, they're helping us with our pallet projects. And so I have them outside. Uh, we have a greenhouse, so kids who are interested in doing something with farming or something like that, we try to hit on those things. So we just try to um, create jobs that match up with what my students' interests are so that you know it just gets them ready to go into the world of work. I love watching the kids grow from the time they come in as freshmen um, until they leave as seniors. It's just really cool to see how much they mature and how, um, how ready they are to go into the world of work. It's just it's really awesome to watch them. All right, there's some information about the OCP class. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you again next time. This Thursday is our first theater performance for the Year of the Play Ear Dissy. It will be at 7 p.m. in the pack and the tickets are $5. Here is some more information. My character is literally called Loudstone and it's exactly what it 
like sounds like very like loud and kind of like interrupts and thinks that they're the most important of all the stones. So I play Orpheus, who is the uh, love of Eurydice's life. They get married and then she tragically dies on their wedding day. He goes down to the underworld to fi find her. He's this wonderful musician who's deeply in love with this girl. I play Eurydice. She is really deeply in love with her husband Orpheus, but they've unfortunately been separated. And as she's in the underworld, she kind of rediscovers her relationship with her father, but also deals with missing her husband Orpheus. So it's just a really big contrast between the way she feels about Orpheus and the way she feels about her father. I play the interesting man. Um, he's also known as Hades, and he's kind of the villain of the story. He lures Eurydice into the underworld by kind of like catching her interest, and he's just the overall uh, antagonist of the story. It's like a fairy tale, kind of, about love and music and stories. Eurydice is the show about this young couple, Orpheus and Eurydice, and they're in love. And then this interesting man comes and tries to stir up some drama between Eurydice. And she has to go down to the underworld where she finds her father, and they start building a relationship again. And then at the end of the show, she has to choose if she's going to go back to Orpheus or stay in the underworld with her father. Eurydice is a retelling of the Greek myth of Orpheus and Eurydice. Essentially, uh, Orpheus is this musician and Eurydice is his wife. She unfortunately dies and he goes down to the underworld to ask Hades for his wife back. Hades says yes, but only if he can walk out of the underworld alone and not look back to make sure that she's still following him. And in the underworld, she tries to get her memories back um, by her father and the stones that are there. And she gets her memories back Orpheus comes and tries to save her, and uh, she ultimately is stuck in the underworld forever, and Orpheus cannot get her back. Going to competition, I really like comp like I really like competing. Uh, we are taking the show to SCTA, a theater competition, in about two weeks. So I'm really excited to get to perform it in front of judges and get feedback. We're taking Eurydice to the South Carolina Theater Association State Festival on November 4th. Uh, we haven't gone to this festival since I've been at White Knoll, so I'm really excited that White Knoll is representing this year and I think we have a really good chance of getting some good scores and doing well. I am most looking forward to playing a character that's very unlike myself. I, I wouldn't consider myself a villain and he's definitely an interesting character. He has some nasty kind of traits so I'm looking forward to playing a character that is very unlike me and I can just put a lot of traits into. I like to hang out with my cast members and like really bond with them. I think that's important. You have to learn your lines. You spend a lot of time talking about boundaries and stuff like that with how comfortable your fellow actors are. Learning lines, learning blocking, and then for this show I'm playing a bunch of instruments on stage so I had to uh, come up with stuff that I'm gonna play. We've had a lot of rehearsals. We've been in a pretty short time frame so it's been three or four times a week for two or three hours just rehearsing together and then outside of that uh, running lines either by myself or with my friends uh, just really making sure that since we're going to a competition we make the show as best as we possibly can. So right now we are doing our rehearsals. We have blocked the play. Um, we are currently building the set. I like to take inspiration by watching some other villains in TV or any kind of media. Just kind of embody that character. I practice with the other actors um, and work on our scenes together and just memorize the lines by looking over them repeatedly. I think people that are interested in mythology perhaps or just people who like plays in general. Anyone that likes Greek mythology, basically if you read The Lightning Thief as a kid, you're going to love this show. Uh, Eurydice is about a Greek myth, so I think anyone that likes Greek mythology or is just interested in that sort of thing, it's also just a really interesting story. It's a really sad story, so if you like storytelling, I think it's a great one to come see. I think people who enjoy Greek mythology would like Eurydice, but people that like a, a sad kind of tale, but also a very interesting tale, just anyone who likes a good love story.
there's no sports update this week because we're between fall and winter sports. But we'll be back next week with our start of our winter sports schedule. And that's the Wolfie for this week. Have a great day and go T-Wolves! <laughs>